Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Judy, a board certified internal medicine physician and holistic wellness expert. And today I'll be delving into a topic that might ruffle a few feathers in the traditional medicine world. So buckle up as we explore why traditional medicine is failing and why it might be time to look beyond conventional medicine and traditional medicine to truly heal. So my background is I've been practicing as a internal medicine physician in both outpatient, the clinic, and in patient settings for 11 years. And I also, in the past few years, experienced a rare condition that doctors, quite frankly, did not know how to adequately diagnose or treat. And I was forced to go beyond traditional medicine to seek care from naturopathic doctors, holistic physicians. And I was also forced to delve deep into the mind-body connection in order for my body to truly heal. The diagnosis that I was given is long COVID and that can cause symptoms very similar to chronic fatigue syndrome. And so my journey led me to so many different insights, which I've combined from my many years of working with patients from different settings, different ages, in different states, in the U.S. even. And what I've learned is that traditional medicine does not heal. Traditional medicine is overly focused on prescription drugs, procedures, and surgeries. In medical school, we learn a lot about the physiology of disease we learn about anatomy. We learn a lot about pharmacology, the drugs, the side effects, which drugs to use. And it almost feels like the only tool that's in our toolbox that we are taught in our traditional training is drugs, procedures, and surgeries. We don't learn about nutrition. We don't learn about the importance of lifestyle medicine. And we don't even learn that the body can heal itself. I used to think when I was in res residency over 10 years ago, I used to think that diseases, chronic diseases were genetic and they developed simply as a result of age and that there was nothing that could be done to reverse those conditions. They didn't teach us that hypertension could actually be reversed by changing the diet or by reducing stress. They didn't teach us that type two diabetes can be reversed by changing the diet or losing weight. And so it's very much focused on pharmacology. And so what that leads to is that you have providers, physicians, physicians assistants, nurse practitioners who are trying to manage patients with symptoms, who just don't feel well, who are sick. And the only tool that they have in the toolbox is prescriptions, procedures, and surgeries. There's no nutrition. There's no understanding and appreciation of the mind-body connection. And that means the impact of adverse childhood experiences, past trauma, and chronic stress on your physical health. There's no acknowledgement of spiritual health and how that impacts our physical health and manifestation of disease. And there's no acknowledgement of the importance of non-traditional therapies such as massage, meditation, grounding, going out in nature, all of these things that are amazing and truly do have healing properties, traditional medicine ignores. And so with that background, traditional medicine approaches disease and patients, you, me, as though getting sick, developing symptoms is a normal part of life. It has this belief that when you get older, as you age, you will just get some kind of disease, some kind of condition. So the bar has been set so low. And as a society, we've accepted this, right? Most people think that, oh, when you turn 40, it's normal to get joint pain, tiredness. And they also think that there's nothing that can be done about it. Yes, as you get older, you will get more symptoms and you do tend to get conditions that do arise that weren't there in your 20s. But that does not mean that you cannot heal. That does not mean that there's nothing that can be done about it. And that's where traditional medicine falls short. It really does not appreciate the body's remarkable ability to heal if given the right conditions. And so the first thing that I want you to make note of is that prescription drugs do not heal. For example, with regards to hypertension, because traditional medicine does not address the root cause of any condition, it just prescribes medicines to alleviate symptoms and to stabilize, which is necessary 
but it must get to the root. So let's say you get diagnosed with hypertension, your blood pressure is high, the visit's only 15 minutes, so they don't have time to really get to the root of why is your blood pressure high in the first place? Is it stress? Are you getting beat up at home from your abusive spouse? Is it childhood trauma? Is it you not being alignment with your life's purpose? Are you not sleeping? Is it your diet? Is it inflammation, right? So you're given a prescription to treat a number, but they're not treating the whole person, your mind, body, and spirit, which are all equally important. And so you're given this prescription of blood pressure medication, like Cinepril, hydrochlorothiazide, whatever the medicine is, right? You're told to take this medication, check your blood pressure, and come back in three months or one month. But there's no analysis of what's actually causing your blood pressure. So the root problem is not being treated. Let's say it's chronic stress. You're still chronically stressed and you're taking this blood pressure medication, which is treating a number, the blood pressure number, which will lower because that's what medications do. Lysinopril will lower your blood pressure, but it doesn't address the underlying physiology of what actually is happening to your blood vessels and your cardiovascular system when your blood pressure is high and what's causing that, what's driving that. And it's critical to get to the root cause because otherwise what you will find is that people will get prescribed a blood pressure medication for high blood pressure. They'll get prescribed a statin for high cholesterol to treat a number, but the root cause is not being addressed. The chronic stress, the poor diet, the smoking, all of these things, the lack of exercise are not being addressed. And this is why these same people can come in later with a stroke, a heart attack, with a normal blood pressure, normal cholesterol, and you might think, well, why are they having a stroke? Why are they having a heart attack? And it's because the underlying issue has not been addressed. It's simply treating a number. And that's what prescription drugs do. And until traditional medicine changes and shifts the focus away from simply alleviating symptoms and treating numbers and starts treating the whole person, we're going to continue to have the broken healthcare system that we have now. And people are going to continue to just not feel well. And of course, prescriptions and surgeries have their place. You are having pneumonia, an acute issue. You need an antibiotic. You're having chest pain. You're having a heart attack. You will need medication, testing. You might need a heart catheterization. These things are very important. But once that acute issue has been stabilized, the next step will be to get into the root cause. And the only way to do that is with a visit that's longer than 30 minutes. It really needs to be an hour. And in that hour, you need a provider that's going to dig deeper than your lab values, your vital signs. And they're going to consider your whole person and look at your mind, body, and spirit. I saw so many traditional doctors from different specialties, including my primary doctor, and none of them were very helpful to me, to be quite honest. They all tell me that with time, the fatigue that I was having ever since I got COVID would go away. And little did I know that there was actually treatments that had been used since 2022 for that condition. And it wasn't until I saw a naturopathic doctor who gave me something that is so priceless. And do you know what he gave me? He gave me hope. And what I found is that traditional medicine, traditional healthcare providers, especially physicians, I think unknowingly sometimes take away your hope. They don't give you hope that you can come off the medication. They're doubtful whether you will make the lifestyle changes that they recommend. They doubt whether the body can heal because the training has not taught us that the body can heal. But I've seen the body heal. I know the body can heal. I'm a believer. I'm a Christian. And I also believe in the supernatural power of God to heal people. And I know that he's the ultimate healer. So in my mind, I think completely different about health and healing. I maintain the belief that any condition can be healed. And what that means is that I will put a significant amount of effort into researching, to finding the root cause, to coming up with unconventional treatments to come up with integrative treatments to try and help the individual, the client, the patient to heal or to help myself to heal. And this is really important because you really want someone that believes that you can heal because when they give you that hope, it opens up doors for you. You will start to behave different. You will start to go online and look up potential treatments. You are more likely to take the medication. You're more likely to stick to whatever the plan is that they're giving you if you have hope that it will work.
Whereas if they tell you, oh, you'll be on this blood pressure forever, this blood pressure medication, or, oh, you'll be on this diabetes medication forever, you might not be able to come off it. That takes away your hope because then you're like, well, what's the point? I might as well eat what I want. I might as well do what I want. So it's really important for providers to never take away a patient's hope. Is really, really important because they must believe in the plan. They must believe in the medication. They must believe in the treatment plan. And they must believe in their ability to achieve success. And for me, seeing that naturopathic doctor was really a catalyst for me. And I'm forever grateful for him. After that visit, then he told me that I could get better, that I could fully recover, which is the first time any provider had told me that. And I was like, you really think so? He was like, yes, most definitely. And after that I went online and found other physicians who were holistic and I made virtual appointments with them. And I started to do a bit of my own research to come up with my own treatment plan. I literally had to create my own holistic treatment plan to treat the long COVID or post-acute COVID syndrome that I had. So I had to radically change my diet. I explored fasting, water fasting, I explored meditation, which was very healing and therapeutic for me, meditation, fasting, the diet changes, and completely eliminating stress. I had a all or none strategy with regards to tackling stress. It wasn't managing stress. It wasn't minimizing it. It was completely eliminating it. And for me, that meant leaving hospital medicine, which was very stressful for me during the pandemic. It wasn't stressful before the pandemic, but working during the pandemic, then I got sick with COVID and actually was in the hospital. So that was all just stressful, right? So my new approach to health, although I've always been a lifestyle medicine, holistic minded physician, but now, even now, I really, really have a greater appreciation for the impact of the mind-body connection in health and healing. And I've discovered as I've started to share these insights with people that there are a lot of people who are suffering with symptoms that are a consequence of chronic stress. And then I've also read a few books recently that have been completely fascinating for me. So the book is called The Deepest Well, Healing from the Long-Term Effects of Childhood Adversity, and it's by Nadine Bark Harris. And there's another book called The Body Keeps the Score. And both of those books talk about how Increased stress increases cortisol, which affects your metabolism, it affects your insulin sensitivity, your weight, your blood pressure. It affects your body on a physical level. And it's crazy to think now looking back how traditional medicine and even prior to me learning this, I didn't really appreciate the impact that chronic stress and adverse childhood experiences has on the individual. And I'm really learning that it's really important to discuss all of these things with clients, with patients, because you won't get to the root problem of what is actually causing those symptoms. And this is particularly important for people that have conditions that are called sometimes invisible diseases, where you have symptoms such as brain fog, fatigue, you just don't feel right. You might have pain in your legs or your joints. You might even have rashes. You might have problems sleeping or maybe you even have trouble losing weight, but your blood work is all normal. Your labs are normal, your vitals are normal, but you just know that something is off in your body. And you think, well, maybe it's hormones, maybe it's menopause, maybe it's perimenopause, and it could be, but until someone does a full assessment of your emotional life, whether you're stressed, what's going on at home? What's going on at work? Are you fulfilled? Lack of fulfillment in life can lead to physical symptoms. Not being in alignment with God's will for your life and his purpose for you, once he's revealed it to you, can lead to physical symptoms. And so we must address the emotional aspect, the physical aspect, as well as the spiritual aspect. And I firmly believe and know for a fact that sometimes physical symptoms are also due to disobedience to what God has said that we should do in the Bible, or sometimes God uses sickness to get our attention. And so having a three-pronged approach to addressing symptoms, illness, and disease, I found very beneficial, has been life-changing for me. It enabled me to heal, to figure out why I developed that condition in the first place and what I needed to do to heal. And it did not involve medications or prescriptions because I was taking them and they were not working. <laughs> I was taking those pills. I was on like seven pills at one time and they were not working. Okay. 
So this is why I'm sharing with you why your medication might not be working, why you might still have symptoms and feel tired, have non-specific symptoms, and you're probably going to so many different doctors and they cannot help you. They're probably either not really listening to your symptoms. They probably don't really even understand about holistic health and healing. So the only tool in their toolbox, like I mentioned, is prescriptions, right? When a physician is evaluating a patient, most of the time, what comes to mind first is what prescription can I write this patient or what specialist can I refer this patient to so they can do a test, procedure, or surgery? That's it. Now, I started studying about plant-based nutrition and lifestyle medicine shortly after residency. And in fact, funny story, when I was in residency, I remember saying to one of my co-residents, I wish that we could figure out how people could actually heal from chronic kidney disease, type 2 diabetes, so that they wouldn't have to come to the hospital like this. These patients are suffering. And he looked at me, he was like, well, if patients healed and got better and didn't have diseases, then they wouldn't need us. And I laughed and I was like, well, yeah, but don't we want people to be well and get better? Like not need us as much. Of course, there will always be sickness because we live in a sinful world. But I just thought it was very interesting that he had that view, right? So it's almost a little bit of self-preservation going on in traditional medicine where I think there may be a fear that if patients actually healed and if you actually healed, you wouldn't need to come to the doctor as much, which is terrible to think that way in my opinion, <laughs> but I'll just leave that there. And the second thing, funny story I wanted to tell you is that when I was in residency, I used to ask my attendings, particularly on the kidney or renal rotation, because I loved the physiology of the kidney. I love physiology. I love the human body. And dialysis is very taxing on the body. And patients that have kidney disease and on dialysis often have a lot of different medical problems. And I used to be like, my goodness, how can we prevent these people from getting so sick from this diabetes and blood pressure and they're having strokes, they're having heart attacks, they're on dialysis, they're getting amputations from ulcers in their feet and their toes. And my attendings would say to me, it's nothing you can do. It's nothing that can be done about it. It's just genetic. It happens with age. And so medicine kind of just has this blanket approach. It's like, oh, it's genetic or, oh, it's age, right? And it's like, no, it's not genetic. Very few diseases are actually gen genetic. I read statistics that show less than 10% of diseases are genetic, right? This, <laughs> it's not genetic. It's just, you've got to stop using this word genetic and really try and get to the root problem. And the last thing I want to share about root cause of illness, and this is a spiritual focus for those of you that are familiar with spiritual warfare, generational curses, and your bloodline. There are some people that actually have generational curses on their bloodline. And if you notice, maybe a family where everyone in that family at the age of 40 has a heart attack, or everyone in that family has a particular type of cancer. Another reason why a holistic wellness approach that also examines the spiritual piece is important because that person, right, if I'm a provider providing this service, I can get to the root of it and determine if there is a generational curse on the bloodline whereby everybody in that family is having a heart attack at the same age. So the holistic medicine approach is where it's at. That's where I am. And I know that there's a need for it. And if this is something that this has resonated with you, if you have chronic fatigue syndrome, if you have symptoms, any symptom that you believe started after you got COVID, the COVID vaccine, if you have chronic fatigue, if you are a woman in your 40s, your 30s, your 50s, I should just say midlife, midlife, and you think you might have perimenopause, or you think you might be in menopause. If you're someone that has problems sleeping, Maybe you're having problems with your energy or you believe that chronic stress might be playing a role and you've been going to your different doctors. You haven't been really getting an answer. You haven't been feeling like you've been listened to. Maybe you feel like your symptoms have been dismissed and they just prescribe medication after medication. And we all know all medications have side effects and they don't heal, as I mentioned earlier. So if you're looking for a holistic solution and you truly want to heal, and you want a provider that has an approach that will address your mind, your body, and your spirit, your whole person, who's not just going to listen to you for 10, 15 minutes, slap a pill, and say, see you later, and see me in a month, email me at 
info at drjudymd.com. That's my email address. We'll have that below as well as my website. As I'm expanding my offerings for my holistic wellness business, right now we offer online courses and programs to teach you how to fast, as well as to teach you how to optimize your health, to eat healthier and lose weight, take less medications, get off medications if possible. If you're looking to see a provider for a one-on-one appointment, a visit, and what I've said here resonates with you, send me an email. I'd love to chat. I'm considering offering this service to individuals who are interested and who want to heal holistically because it's possible. And if I could heal from a condition that traditional medicine and no one knows how to treat, manage, or effectively diagnose, I truly believe that you can heal. And even if all of our efforts aren't successful, I believe that you must, we must always maintain hope that your body can heal. So I do not care if you've been diagnosed with cancer and you've been giving a devastating diagnosis, you must believe that your body can heal. Oh, I'll say it won't. And there's studies on this that show that patients, that people that have a positive outlook about their condition are more likely to heal. So don't ever lose hope. Don't ever give up. And again, if what I've said here resonates with you, please comment below. I'd love to know your thoughts about this video. Like, subscribe to the channel. It really helps us to grow. And if you might be interested in seeing me for a one-on-one visit, appointment, for a strategy session or a coaching session, send me an email and let me know. And I'm so grateful that you have listened to this video. I hope that it was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.